Now that we have tested on Android, it's time for us to test on iOS. Now testing on iOS when you are on Mac is going to be as straightforward as testing on Android. All we have to do is change the project that we're going to be running to the iOS project. Also select debug and select one of the many simulators that get installed when you install Xcode. I am going to be selecting the iPhone 10 simulator. Of course, the newer the simulator, the more resources it's going to use. If you are trying to save resources on your computer, maybe you don't have that much RAM, you could select the iPhone 5S, which is the oldest of these simulators. It should use the least resources. I can simply go ahead and select iPhone 10 and hit Run. Now on Windows, it is going to be slightly more complicated. We're going to talk about it extensively in the next lecture. So if you're on Windows, you will have to jump over to the next lecture and learn how to test an iOS. And meanwhile, here it is, the simulator launching. And after a few seconds, it is quite quickly as well, we see the application of running in here. And we also see this new button. And if we click on it, we get navigated over here where we see all of the same text fields. In the case of iOS, they are called text fields. Well, they are just entries on Xamarin. We see the button and on iOS, very important, we could not do this application without it, the back button. As you can see, it is exactly the same functionality, the same navigation, except that summary forms is built to precisely use entirely native controls, as we have already seen by the way in the designer. The difference by running this application already in the simulator is that we can see the title bar, for instance, and test the actual functionality, something that we cannot do with the designer alone. Now, it is very important for you to notice how native this looks, because eventually it is entirely native. I make a big emphasis on this because people sometimes confuse or misinterpret the functionality from Xamarin, especially with Xamarin forums, because we are defining the UI with SAML, but this doesn't at all mean that this doesn't end up as an entirely native application with entirely native controls. So now that we have taken a look at the application, how it looks, of course, in the next lecture, we're going to take a look and add how to run this on Windows. But in the next section, we're going to start to add the actual functionality. Now that we have the navigation and the UI, we're going to start to add functionality for us to save new contacts on a local database. Starting in the next lecture, or in the first lecture of the next section, after we talk about how to test on Windows, we're going to learn how to add new packages to our project. So we don't have to code the entire functionality, we can import functionality that other developers have created.